Welcome to Top Talkers and my guest panel today, Melanie Adams from Bob FM, uh, John Brenner from CFRA, Hi. and oh yes, Leanne Lang. jumped on the seat, yeah. <laughs> from CTV Morning Live. Today I want to talk about uh, Chris Brown and Rihanna, the saga. It's a bizarre story. Uh, in 2009, we, we all know from the headlines, uh, Chris Brown uh, allegedly, and I guess maybe it was proven, uh, assaulted Rihanna on the, in the streets of Hollywood and it blew up. Everybody yeah. was talking about it and everybody portrayed Rihanna as, uh, as she was a victim and talking about how she needs to stand up. She walked away from the relationship, everybody applauded her for that and then recently you start seeing the relationship kind of re-encroach, right? So she talks to Oprah saying I'll always be in love with him and now there's talk about mm -hmm. whether or not they're dating. So my question is, uh, you know, when it comes down to this, do you judge Rihanna for kind of giving him a second chance? How can you, right? Because none of us know the situation. We look at it from the outside, okay? So everyone says he hit her and, and you saw the pictures of her and she looked like she'd just been beaten horribly. Mm -hmm. um, and then she goes back to him. But we think we all kind of know people who go back to someone they shouldn't over and over again because this is on the world stage. Right. And because we can't talk to them and get their side of the story, we feel like we can just say whatever we want. Do they have a responsibility, John, uh, to send a message even if, uh, you know, to send a message to fans and to people in, at large about this? Is Rihanna responsible? No, I don't think they can because okay. I don't think they're in a situation. I, I don't think they can uh, make that call. You know who has a responsibility? The industry does. I think there's a big problem here. Okay, there is a, and this, and this is not exclusive to this couple. Right. Uh, and it doesn't have to deal strictly with uh, abusive relationships. I mean, look at the Britney Spears, look at the Lindsay Lohans, all of these uh, situations that we see that are blown up into the public eye. Mm -hmm. uh, there has to be, I think, a degree of accountability. I mean, we can't police what individuals do in their lives. They have to be accountable for that. But at the same time, an industry that decides it's also going to make a spectacle of it, right? I think somebody needs to uh, at least ask a few questions. And I was a little disappointed to see one story this morning that talked about, well, you know, despite their personal problems, uh, it's a really great sounding song. Yeah, they have I a duet. Got, I wonder they if it's a, got traction. You know? Yeah, yeah, and that's what it's about. Should the industry have turned their backs on, on Chris Brown? I don't think it's necessarily the industry itself. I think that you have a lot of people out there that you have different groups and organizations that are saying that Rihanna needed to be that role model mm -hmm. uh, for women around the world to, to be able to stand up. And we can't make that expectation on one young female individual. I think the responsibility comes back as well to the parents who know that their children are viewing these people as role models and there needs to be a little bit more like, especially you just mentioned the Britney Spears thing. So you have this young girl growing up, you know, and, and seeing herself bubble. as in the bubble of Britney Spears and the Christina Aguilera's and you see and you see the pathways that you go it's I find it's other people need to take responsibility to put their own beliefs and to put their own uh, education on their children to be able to say this is what's right and this is what's wrong and, and Rihanna a, doesn't want to be the she, she right. even said there's it, a like, bigger question here responsibility. should music uh, stars be uh, moral role models for people. Let's have it real quick before I, I let you answer that question. I want to have you to see something here that uh, Chris Brown unveiled. Do you see the tattoo on his neck there that looks like a battered Rihanna? Oh, I mean, it's pretty oh, obvious wow. that that's what it is. I mean, I don't even know what this says, but should people be looking up to these people as moral compasses? I don't think that young people look up to people the way society thinks they do. Okay. I think that teenage I mean I was a teenager for a few years and I wasn't bright and a lot of us aren't <laughs> uh, but I didn't I didn't look at a singer and I might think oh I wish I could be an actress too but I never thought uh, I want to be like Rihanna so I'm gonna let someone hit me and go but like that's not something teenagers think okay I don't I don't believe that they're the role models that people that society thinks they are hmm and John you think that uh, we should be careful about that in terms of talking to our kids well, I, I think we should because uh, if, if you're looking to uh, people who are in the limelight for guidance, you're not going to get it, uh, right. really, most of the time because you have to remember they live in a world that we can't even begin to imagine. I mean, all we see is what we, what we see on television, what we see up on the big screen, what we hear coming through the speaker. We have no clue. We have, uh, I, mean, I mean, just look at some of the things that, that we're exposed to, right. you know, in, in, a, in a media market like Ottawa. 
that other people, you know, it's just not part of your normal day life. And I don't see how you can, I don't see no. how you can expect an individual to uh, look at that as a guiding light. No, I don't think we can put them all under the same umbrella. And you talk about, you know, being a kid and looking at these pop stars. But I can say being an athlete, looking at some of the individuals, as a young athlete, I would have looked up to a Lance Armstrong right. uh, as an inspirational, wonderful example of what can be accomplished in life. And then, you know, it, you, you're constantly disappointed by the reality of the decisions that people um, that we do look up to in certain aspects you have to, I think are, are, are portraying for the rest of us. For me, you have to think of these people as human beings. They have a job, so that's the thing you see from them. And they're human beings and they make mistakes. But I think with, the, with technology and the way that the entertainment media is like ubiquitous, mm -hmm. that you're not, I don't see anybody really standing up and not actually having a scandal. No, but I, I think kids are smarter than we give them credit for. And I think that they can look at that and they can think, okay, I like their music, but they're morons. And I think kids can do that. <laughs> <laughs> with that, we'll wrap it up with Top Talkers today.